Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll talk about 3D shapes. Here we mainly talk about cube. Let's first review the surface area of a cube. If we have a cube, each side is 1. So we know the surface area, there are 6 faces, and each face is a square, that is a square. So the total surface area will be 6 times a square. This is very simple. Now let's see some questions. This is 2012 problem 21. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. We have a large white cube that has each edge of 10. So let's draw a cube. Each side is 10. She also has enough green paint to cover 300 square feet. And use all the paint to create a white square center on each face. A white square center, which is white, surrounded by green border. These are green. What's the area of one of the white square? So we want to find out the area of the white. So for green, we can cover 300 area of green, divide by 6. So each green area on each face will be 50. And the total area of each face is 100, 10 times 10, 100. So 100 minus 50 will be 50. That's the white area in the center. This one is relatively easy. Let's see another one. This is 2014 problem 19. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. A cube with three inch edges is to be constructed from 27 smaller cubes with one inch edges. So let's first draw a cube as usual. Let's draw a cube. And this is 3 times 3 times 3. So in this question, we seem to need to cut the cube into 27. To 27 pieces, 3 times 3 times 3. 21 of the cube are red, so 21 red, and the 6 white. If the 3 inch cube is constructed to have the smallest possible white surface area showing, what fraction of the surface area is white? A fraction. The surface area in total is 9 times 9 times 6. Oh, sorry, 3 times 3 times 6. That is 54. That will be our denominator. And the numerator will be the smallest possible white surface area. So it seems if we put the white one like this, there will be only one face shown. The other part, if we, for example, if we put here, there will be three faces show. That's not good. So, and don't forget there's an inner core here. The inner core, if we put the one in the inner core, no faces will be shown. So here we have six white, and we put one in the inner core, and put the other five with only one face. So in total, there will be five faces shown. So the answer will be five over 54. This one is a little bit tricky. You might do, some people might do six over 54. So that will be the wrong answer. Okay, let's move on to another idea. This will be a bit harder. So here we have a cube, each side is one. We need to find the length of the longest diagonal. How can we do that? We can see here the purple triangle is actually a right triangle because this vertical line is perpendicular to the whole base. That's why it's perpendicular to each line of the base. So here, this is actually a right triangle. Let me take it out. This is a right triangle. The vertical line is 1. And uh, this side, 
we can get from Pythagorean, it's actually square root of 2. So now we can use Pythagorean to find the longest diagonal, which will be 1 square plus root 2 square and the square root. Root, squ root 2 square, we know that is 2. So it will be root 3. This is how we find the longest diagonal. If the cube is big, say each side is 3, for example, how we find the longest diagonal. Uh, we can use similar triangle. So these two shapes are similar with each other. The ratio is 1 to 3, because each side is 1 and 3. So the longest diagonal here will be 3 times, this is root 3, so this will be 3 times root 3, or simply 3 root 3. Okay, let's apply this idea into these questions. This is 2018 problem 24. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So here, each are uh, midpoint. So maybe we can start with, assume this is 1, this is 2, and find out the line of EJ is 1 square plus 2 square square root, that is square root of 5. Here, this is root 5, and the same with each other side. But here, the shaded region is not necessarily a square because if you think about the longest diagonal here, this will be 2 times root 3 as we previously discussed. And if we connect the other diagonal of this shaded shape, the line ji is actually the same as line fh which we can get by Pythagorean. Um, 2, 2, so this actually will be root 8, or root 8 is root 4 times root 2, or 2 root 2. So now that we have a shape that is root 5 with each side, and the one diagonal is 2 root 3. The other diagonal is 2 root 2. So it's actually a rhombus. So let me use a different color. Actually, the rhombus, uh, let's say the rhombus is, is 4 right triangle. This triangle is root 2, root 3. So area of the rhombus will be root, root 2 times root 3 divided by 2 times 4. So it's actually 2 times, this is root 6. So 2 root 6. So this is our shaded region. So say R is a ratio of the shaded region to area of one of the faces of the cube. So it's going to be 2 root 6 divided by the face is 4. The ratio is root 6 over 2. This is our R. So R square, we are looking for R square. R square will be this square. This is we open the bracket, the top root 6, root 6 together is 6. The bottom is 4, so it's going to be 3 over 2. Wow, this is almost the hardest AMC 8 questions I've ever seen. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next lecture.